<clears throat> Great to be here. Got lots of things to talk about. Professor, I'm a professor of animal science at Colorado State University. And uh, I had no speech until I was uh, four years old. And I, I want to emphasize the importance of good teachers. I had some great teachers, starting with an elementary school, my science teacher, my mother, always pushing me to do things. I want to see the kids that are different <coughs> get out there and be successful. Now, I think completely in pictures. And I didn't realize that most other people thought verbally until I was in my late 30s. And the way I found that out was I asked a speech therapist one day to think about a church steeple. How does it come into her mind? And I was shocked that she just got a pointy thing like this. I see very specific ones because I'm a bottom-up thinker. Pictures just come to me like a series of, of course, back then, 35-millimeter slides. <laughs> Got to date myself. <coughs> now it's PowerPoint slides. But it was shocking to find out that other people didn't think the way I do. Now, a lot of the things in this book is aimed at businesses that these kids that are different, they need to hire us because you need our skills. I'm gonna be showing how we're losing skills. And at the reception, I talked to one therapist that said that educators were afraid to let autistic kids use tools. Well, I'll tell you right now, a lot of autistic people built my cattle handling facilities. You see, this is one of the things, findings that go back and forth <coughs> between the education world and the industrial world. There's this huge gap. Nobody knows what's going on in the other places. Now, being a visual thinker helped me in my animal work because I looked at what cattle were looking at. People thought that was kind of weird. Things like a shadow in a chute would make the animals refuse to move. Well, it was obvious to me, you'd think in pictures, to look at what animals are looking at. You see, an animal is a sensory-based thinker not a word-based thinker. An animal lives in a world of sight, sounds. It's sensory-based. <laughs> now, five years ago, I got a chance to visit NASA down at Cape Kennedy, visit this launch pad. And right now, there's a rocket on it that they're having some problems with. And you, NASA needs people like me that are terrible in higher math because I found something in the launch pad that shouldn't be there. I saw a little motion, this is five years ago I saw this, a little motion up on the steps and a raccoon came out of it. <laughs> and then I got inside the base and I saw fueling equipment. I don't really want this guy around. Now whether he had anything to do with some of the problems now, I don't know, I hope they got rid of him but nobody else noticed that there was a raccoon there. See, I'm a visual thinker who can't do higher math, but I want to show the engineering world that you need us visual thinkers that can't do higher math. 